Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today I actually found five satellite dishes at one stop during my uh, garbage day drive through Yesterday I found another one. And the great thing about satellite dishes is not only are they made from almost 100% scrappable material, but you will also find them a lot on garbage day. People are constantly changing service providers or they're upgrading and getting rid of this type of technology and they no longer have use of this dish. And these things are very heavy, um, very easy also to store up, stack up and bring in as a great source of tin. And also there is some gold inside of them as well as some either zinc cast or cast aluminum. So what I'm gonna do today is show you a couple different types, show you how good these are as scrap value, weigh it for you, and more importantly, not only to identify the material, separate it properly, maximize your profit, and the most important, divert all of these away from the landfill. So here we go. Uh, some of these dishes, they do come in different sizes. You see the big one back here, there's a couple smaller ones, and they are definitely different types. I've got some that are dish plus, some that are direct TV, some are bell in here. So I don't know if the gentleman was storing them up for a long time or if, um, you know, it was uh, just he had them all for scrapping, didn't want to bring them in himself. I don't know the reason, but I will definitely take them. They did, some of them had the arms, not all of them. These arms are very heavy. And just to show you, there's three arms here, five dishes. I do actually have right here a scale. Just going to actually weigh these ones here just to show you how good I have the score right here. So look how thin that bundle is. And just here alone I have, put it on my scale, I have 38 pounds. So this all right here is going to be tin shred or tin. Uh, separately than shred, I call it tin shred because it's either tin or shred at a scrapyard. And the reason it is tin shred and not steel, as some people will ask me, is in order for something to be classified as steel, it has to be thicker than a quarter inch. So none of this is thicker than a quarter inch. So all of it will be tin or shred. And right now in London, Ontario, Tin or shred is actually going for 10 to 15 cents a pound Canadian, which is an excellent price. It continues to stay high. And tin and shred are going to be the most common item you find on scrap day. Anything that is magnetic um, is going to usually be tin or uh, steel, depending on the thickness. But all of your items, like the outside of microwaves and dishwashers and washing machines, dryers, ovens, all of those, including these, Satellite dishes are tin. So again, 10 to 15 cents right now. I have seen some people, depending on where they live, get more. Um, so definitely want to call your scrapyard. But tin shred right now is an excellent thing to be finding and bringing in. Um, the other nice thing about these handles is there are a lot of great screws, nuts and bolts on here. And if you are a steady scrapper like myself, there is definitely a large quantity that you can get from scrapping. I have not had to buy screws for a long time. Um, so that is great. They usually have really nice uh, nuts on them and bolts that you can use for other things. If you have extra and you are getting rid of them, you can also bring them into the scrapyard as well. So he's, here are all the nice screws, nuts and bolts from it. And these are also worth money at a scrapyard. I'm gonna put these into a bucket and bring them in as steel. And right now, uh, all of these, a little bit more than tin, but definitely uh, wanna bring them in in a container, make sure they don't fall out on my way to the scrapyard, potentially pop my vehicle's tire or someone else's. But screws, nuts and bolts, all of these items are worth scrap money as well. I do also have a lot of the different wire that comes out of your satellite dishes. This wire is what we call a coaxial cable. And there is a separate category at a scrapyard for coaxial cable. It is not worth much. And this stuff does not weigh much. These two spools here, you can see the thickness of these. This is only six ounces right here. And uh, you will actually find 
bundles of this stuff. I find a lot of it even on um, at job sites. The providers, when they put in the satellite dishes, they usually have a lot left over and they will throw it into the dumpster. The unfortunate thing for this is because it doesn't weigh a lot and it's not worth a lot of money, I don't like to keep this around because it definitely eats up precious space in my garage. So I will actually just throw this into my tin pile. Uh, you can see very clearly, if I put a magnet to the end here, you can see both of them do stick. There you can see the draw there. So that's because the wire inside, you can see the wire looks like copper, but unfortunately it is not, it's just tin. So these, because they are magnetic, are just gonna go into my tin pile just so I can get it out of the garage uh, and I can get some money for it. Uh, you're probably actually gonna make more money from the tin part of it than you would as coaxial cable. And I do wanna mention that I do have a separate video on coaxial cable. There is some coaxial cable that does have copper inside of it. So if you put a magnet to it and it does not stick, it is copper. Unfortunately, it is not common, uh, and it was something that I think was used more in the past, uh, and they've been changing that. So it does exist. However, if it has a magnet and it definitely attracts the magnet, it is gonna be your tin pile. So be careful on that. Uh, and if you are interested in how to strip your copper coaxial cable or how to open it, I do have a video. So if you're interested, go check that out. I have also, for the sake of this video, have two photo or receiver parts to it or the antenna parts you can see. One has your photo eye you can see there. This one is more of your common one that's got the cap on it. And the nice thing about these is there is a gold circuit board in this. As well, you can see this part once I remove the plastic cover. So all I did was I just took a hammer, popped this off. This is plastic and because this is thick, I can actually throw this in my recycling. But this box out here, once I remove the screws, this box or outer casing here, this shell, is actually going to be cast aluminum. I have actually seen zinc cast before as well, but this one uh, is cast aluminum. Zinc cast has more of like a rainbow color look inside of it, uh, or pitted more. Um, it's almost like when you look on the inside of a, a, a Muscle shell, I guess you have kind of like the different colors. I do have to make sure I remove the screws You can see there is a screw here uh, a couple screws here just attached there But once I take out all the screws, this is going to be cast aluminum and currently right now in London, Ontario Cast aluminum is going for about 45 to 50 cents a pound There's about three pounds here if I was to leave this on as is I'm gonna get dirty cast price which is about uh, 15 to 20 cents a pound so Definitely want to make sure I take off the screws um, and as well make sure I get this photo eye off of it as well. Um, again, zinc cast, if you have that, zinc cast you will find on these. You can find also on faucets. That is going for about 45 cents a pound. Um, and if in doubt when you bring these in, you can always have them separate. Show the guys at the scrapyard they can easily um, separate it for you but uh, there are definitely two different styles I've seen. There are also, I wanna mention, a lot of screws. So once you open this box, and I'm gonna open this one in a second, but this one has a back cover on it. The back cover, put a magnet to it, it is magnetic. So this is gonna be going into tin shred. And before this video, I did actually take the time. Every one of these holes you see, had a screw in it. So just to show you the little tiny screws you can see on this magnet here, there were a lot of them. I actually used just a, an Allen or security key set that I have, um, but an Allen key works no problem. Just a lot of different um, screws. Once I open this, this too is gonna be cast aluminum, but there is my circuit board that has some gold inlay in it. So I'm just going to actually take it out right now. I do have glasses on just to make sure I don't pop anything or it doesn't go up in my face or break in my face. Sometimes they are harder to get out if they're pinned in somehow. There is a pin so you just have to sometimes work at it to get at it but just going to 
Hopefully, if I have to break part of it out, I will. Okay, so I'm gonna just put it actually in my vise here, just so I actually can work. This angle on the bottom here is actually what gets in the way. And as I said, I might have to just break one of the corners just for to get it out. And I'm okay with just breaking a little piece. There we go. I just gotta pull it underneath, pry it under, make sure I get all the different parts. And if it breaks, I'm not too concerned. As I said, there are different bolts to it. Um, there it is. It's just pinned in. I can see the little pins. There we go. So, just going to turn this. Again, I'm okay with breaking it because it is all gold there. You can see, try to bring that up to you, sorry. You can see the gold tint there. So, this is just a small layer of gold. And... I'm actually, it doesn't matter if I bring this in like this because this would be going, I would sell this online. If I was to bring these pieces into a scrapyard, unfortunately the scrapyard I go to, there is just one category for circuit boards and it is very low. I get about four to eight cents a pound for all my circuit boards. Some places, and you definitely want to check your area, but some will give you low grade, medium grade, high grade, depending on the precious metals. Because these have gold on them, they are higher value. Uh, one other option, and the option I recommend is online sources like boardsort.com. They will pay for gold um, circuit boards like this. They will pay by weight. And I will mention, even though there is gold on this, it does not weigh a lot. There's only probably two ounces here, three ounces maybe. Um, but given the price of precious metals right now continues to go up, I do store these. I will just build up the weight of these and hopefully one day I will either uh, sell them in bulk or I will also figure out a way um, or experiment with refining it myself. Um, so that's definitely an option I want to look at. Sorry, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, but again, it's okay that it's in pieces. It's just very light. Uh, as I said, does not weigh much, but interesting that there is gold in these dishes. And if you think about how many you find, definitely easy to build up and add up very quickly. So this one was more of your, I don't get much of these ones. I'm gonna quickly look at the common one here, the one that people mostly find. So you can see lots of coaxial cables still connected to it. I am just gonna open this, just using a hammer very quickly, easiest way. Bang it. Okay, you can see, again, some more plastic. The cap comes off. This cap is more of a rubber. There is gonna be two receiver boxes, or two portals, if you will, in there. I'm gonna slide this out. Okay, there's a bolt here that I'm just going to unscrew. Hopefully I have my screwdrivers near me. I've been working in here. Just got off of another heat wave. So it's nice and it's cooler in here now, so it's easier to work, I think. But again, just going to take these off of here so I can work a little bit quicker, efficiently. Okay. Uh, and the nice thing about coaxial cable, these ends, you do want to check these ends. There are some that are brass. Uh, there are some that are, you know, just magnetic. Um, so they're going to be tin. But um, that's something I should actually show you first. So on this one, you can see right here the connectors. I actually did scratch this one right here you can see that does reveal brass right there so these are going to be dirty brass if i open it and clean it i can get yellow brass or clean brass but these are brass these connectors so there's another metal that you can take off of there okay so here is my box just gonna shove a screwdriver under it and rip it up okay. 
slides out again, some more plastic. So there is the box I'm gonna look at and I'm just gonna take, there is some caulking on it. So I'm just gonna take a flathead screwdriver and pop that up, put it in my vise. Gonna get under that. There we go. So again, here, tin shred. Okay, this circuit board again depends on different styles. This one, unfortunately, once I remove these. I see a little bit of gold in there, but again, there is what I'm talking about, all the different Allens uh, or pieces that you need, uh, screws that you need to get out. Sorry, I'm fumbling with some words right now. Okay, but just gonna grab a small Allen key right here. They're not hard to get out, but just gonna just unscrew them, loosen them, and then start <laughs> taking them out. Okay, so it is, Definitely a little bit of work, but again, think of the dirty cast in here. Again, this is going to be clean once I remove it. So 45 cents for this head. And again, these heads, as I said, are two, three pounds. There is some brass here as well that's going to come off. As well, that circuit board, I do want to get that out as well. Um, and I will caution, some of the circuit boards do not have the gold on it. It, uh, just like any type of electronic, it depends on make and model. So I have seen some that do not have gold. So it's okay if you don't because you're still gonna get circuit board weight price, uh, but definitely you have the cast aluminum here as well. I've got lots of steel. And the last thing I do also wanna say is be careful. Uh, some of these satellite dishes will fool you. You can see two pretty much the same size. The only difference between this one and this one, put a magnet to it, it sticks. This one, however, does not stick. So as you can see, that is plastic. Okay, so this is still gonna be steel or tin, because if I put a magnet to that, there is my magnetic force. So you do have to pull it out of the, bol or the bolts uh, and get out this piece, but unfortunately, this is plastic. So luckily, I can throw this into my um, recycle bin, but I cannot throw this into my scrap bin as tin shred because it is not tin, okay? So uh, that's Shaw Direct uh, Dish Plus. Yours is tin. Thank you for the scrap weight price on that. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Again, Satellite Dish is a great thing for tin or shred some gold in some of them, some uh, brass on the ends, some cast aluminum, a lot of times cast aluminum instead of your zinc, um, but also brass, as I said, very easy to take apart, uh, and some free screws if you are uh, someone that takes them, uses them again, and doesn't have to buy them again because of all the wonderful screws you can get from scrapping. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.